is happening guys welcome to the video in this video we're gonna do something a little bit different today I don't think I've actually done this before but we're gonna actually do a full grocery haul now as you guys probably know I am in my bodybuilding off season which means I am trying to do a few different things one is get freakishly strong that is my number one goal I'm trying to get stronger than I've ever been because I'm getting to powerlifting now so my nutrition and stuff has to reflect that I'm trying to improve my mobility keep my health in check so I'm making sure I still get good quality nutrients in so I'm going to get some groceries and I'm going to explain to you guys why I've got what I've got and kind of how my nutrition has been structured lately. Let's make our way to Walmart because they have the cheapest chicken. If you're in the area where I am guys, I'm in Ontario, Canada. I don't know if this is the same everywhere, but Walmart has the cheapest chicken around. And you can get a pack for like 10 bucks, which is a good deal. So let's get to Walmart and then I'll meet you guys back here and we'll go over what we got. This is not everything we eat. We just needed, well, we needed a lot, <laughs> as you can see, um, but it's not everything. So after I go through all this stuff, I'll kind of go over a few other things that we buy on a regular basis, but we still had in stock right now. So this is the stuff we needed today. Um, today is Saturday, so this will kind of tide us over for the week. We might need a few other things, uh, depending on what we eat, like if we run out of bananas or something like that. Um, but for the most part, this is gonna last us the entire week. This stuff right here was, I think just over a hundred bucks and that's for two of us for my girlfriend and I so it's really not that expensive everybody says oh clean food is expensive healthy food is expensive when you really break it down it's not that much like we have packs of chicken and stuff and they'll last us two or three meals right so ten dollars for two or three meals you cook some rice up which is really cheap um, cook some veggies and you're good for like a couple days so if you really break it down it's not that bad so I'm gonna empty this stuff all out and I'll separate it into like protein, carb, fat, and they kind of explain to you guys what everything is and uh, then we'll go from there. All right, so I've broken it up into one, two, three, four, five different categories. So category one right here, this stuff, is our primary protein sources for the most part. So right here we have, as I spoke to you uh, earlier in the video, 10 bucks a pack of chicken. So we actually got two of these. Uh, I threw the other one in the freezer because I didn't need it for the video. But this is one, two, three, four, five chicken breasts. And on the package, guys, it breaks it down into weight. So I always look to see what I can find for the most uh, bang for my buck, I guess you can say. So this is 1.04 kilograms. You can usually find them that are just over one something kilograms. Whereas uh, there's also, it goes down to like 7.7 kilograms, right? So uh, 10 bucks, find the most weight, and then you're good to go. So that is one protein source. Then we have lean ground beef here. Uh, this would probably last us, you know, we usually go uh, five ounces for myself and then she might go four ounces so this will last us quite a bit we can probably get three meals between the two of us out of here then we have egg whites which are a staple I'll put these in a smoothie or cook them up by themselves she likes the one percent cottage cheese I go with the two percent just because uh, I like the taste of it a little bit better and I can afford the extra calories from the fat so these are protein sources um, this was 17 bucks 10 bucks these are, I don't know, maybe three something a piece. So like 30 bucks, 35 bucks in protein. Um, along with the protein with that, I'll have my Blue Star Iso Smooth. So this is my other primary protein source that goes into smoothies uh, post-workout with my Cheerios or something like that. So protein. Column two, we have fat. Um, eggs are a staple for sure. I like, uh, there's nothing really special about them, they're just eggs. 
She goes, they're extra large, do you care? No, I don't care. Eggs are eggs to me. Avocados are a staple. I think uh, everybody should have a little bit of avocado in their diet. They're a great source of fat and uh, they're full of nutrients and all kinds of good stuff. So I'll put these in a smoothie or I'll have them on the side with some chicken or something. And then just because we were feeling it, we bought some bacon. Uh, we, we like to treat ourselves. Usually Sunday mornings we'll do like a breakfast. Um, kind of the whole works. We'll do like eggs and, and uh, you know, English muffins, bacon, hash browns, all that good stuff. We'll do that like once a week. Um, but we don't eat the whole thing. So we'll probably eat like half of this between the two of us. So it's really not that much. And then the other half we'll kind of snack on throughout the week. So that is fat sources that we bought. Then for carbs, we bought uh, whole grain English muffins. These are great guys. They are only 130 calories and they're quite filling. I like to do, um, instead of like a bun, I'll get like lean beef patties and I'll make like burgers with these because it's less calories than actual burger bun. And then, uh, you know, we'll have these with breakfast as well. We'll do like breakfast sandwiches with like eggs and bacon and stuff. Um, so these are great. I, I like these. These are a good, uh, a good little source of good carbs. Minute rice is another one. Um, it's a staple. It's a bodybuilding staple. It's quick to make. You just boil the water and pour it in there. And then uh, like we'll cook like a big old pot of this and then we'll just have it throughout the week uh, cooked up. So you just scoop it up and you're ready to go. And then <laughs> everybody laughs, but rice cakes. No one likes these for some reason, but I love them. I don't know why. Um, just the original. Carrie likes to get uh, like flavored ones sometimes, but I just opt for the original because I don't mind the taste of them. And then if you put like peanut butter and jam on these guys, they are unreal. So they're another one. I'll have like three or four of them at a time. So they don't last long, but they're really cheap. I think one of these is like like a dollar, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't pay attention to the cost of stuff too much, guys. I just buy what I need. Um, the price of health, I guess. But uh, these are great. And then in the last little column over here is just some vegetables. So we got a couple things of broccoli and then a couple of these seasoned Italian blend anti antioxidant. So there's like peppers, broccoli and some other good stuff in there. So these I'll just put in a bowl with some water and throw them in the microwave. Um, I try to have vegetables with most of my meals. Obviously not with like a smoothie in the morning. I won't put frozen broccoli in it. Um, but that might taste good. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to try that. But uh, Vegetables always guys. I opt to do frozen versus fresh just because it's easier for me um, It's just it just works better for me. I don't uh, I don't care for fresh vegetables very much like if I fry up like fresh asparagus or something It's okay, but to just eat raw vegetables. It just doesn't do it for me So I'll opt to have the frozen stuff now along with this stuff Let me grab a few other things and I'll show you uh, what else we would usually eat on a, on a weekly basis Okay, so I grabbed a few more things that we didn't need to buy, but we do have regularly. Mostly we'll have uh, one of these items every single day, so we do go through it. We just didn't need it at this grocery shop. Uh, natural peanut butter, for sure. This is the Kraft All Natural Smooth. I'll put that on rice cakes or in a smoothie or eat it. <laughs> it's just quick. It's a good source of fat, and I do prefer the natural now over the regular stuff that's got sugar and stuff in it. I don't know. Um, why I like this stuff better now, maybe just because I'm used to it, but uh, some people will have this at first and they think it tastes gross, but I think it's good, so that's what we have. Spinach, we'll throw that in salads or I'll fry it up with my eggs. Like you guys, if you watch my prep, you'll know that egg whites and spinach is a staple for me. So spinach is another one we always get, another good green. Bananas, we usually go through probably like, I usually have one every day, she might have a few a week, so like, they're gonna like 10 bananas between the two of us a week. So we go through bananas a lot. As far as other fruit goes, berries would probably be the only other one we go through quite regularly. Blueberries, for sure. And then if strawberries or raspberries look good, we'll get them. But as far as like apples and stuff, like we have oranges on top of the fridge that we haven't touched, which we should probably throw out. But we don't go through that much fruit besides the banana and the berries. Pepperettes, these are original. Uh, just pepperettes. They're not uh, they're not that bad, really. Like people, ingredients. Let's just go through, yeah, like pork, salt, spices. There's a little bit of sugar in them. But for the most part, they're not that bad. And for a quick grab of protein, for one pepperette here, there is 
six protein, nine fat, and one carb, no sugar. So for a couple pepperettes, you're getting a little, little bit of protein and a decent chunk of fat. So if you can afford it in your macros, then go ahead. Uh, Carrie loves these for at work, and for me, if I'm back to back with clients and I can't sit down and have a prepared meal, these are awesome. So a couple of these with some rice cakes and you're golden. And then, as you can see, this is well opened. Uh, some Cheerios, multi-grain Cheerios. This is post-workout, um, post-workout little treat. If I'm in a pinch and I don't have anything made, I'll just do Cheerios and a protein shake instead of like chicken and rice, for example, because you've got a good chunk of carbs and then you've got a good hit of protein from the, the ISO smooth there. So, not all the time, but it's there if I need it. And of course, if I'm going to have it, I try to make it post-workout because, uh, you know, it's Cheerios. We don't want to have it all the time. So this is the grocery haul, guys. As I said, the initial buy was just over 100 bucks. So it's really not that bad when you break it down of how much food we did get for how much it cost us and how last, how long it's going to last us. As I said, it'll get us till next weekend easily. But we might need to go get some bananas here and there or uh, like cottage cheese, for example. She's she's uh, going to go through this pretty quickly. So. It works though, it works for us guys. As I said in the earlier part of the video, I'm trying to keep health in check, keep uh, like a cleanish bulk for the most part, trying to pack on quality weight and not just get overly fluffy for the sake of eating, just eating a bunch of calories mindlessly. I wanna to try to consume quality food and make sure my nutrients and everything's coming in good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Share the video guys for anybody that needs to see this. And thank you for watching. Hit that like button, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.